Blessed day, my people. So in today's video, we have some breaking news to talk about as it relates to a popular dancehall artist who is among six persons arrested in Florida as it relates to a homicide case. And this popular dancehall artist is also the son of a dancehall artist who in the business for a while. Some people can consider him to be a veteran, but is the son of Danny English. Yes, my people. Now remember the artist, the name Danny English, who did the big song with Eggnog. Yeah, my people, so a theme song them all in Florida. So I'm going to give you some more information as it relates to that. You see me? Also, I'm going to talk about Shensia seemingly responding to London on the chat baby mother with a post that she makes on her IG page. And this post is basically Shensia wishing her son happy birthday, but she make a little talk in it, so it kind of seems like she's going to address London and the chat baby mother soon. So, well, watch out for what I'm going to say. You understand? And the professional clown who was arrested recently, which is the, the guy who run the people him out of the taxi, well, he actually get big overnight people. Me can't believe, say, yo, Zipper interview him, and the man I get big all over social media, and the man I get big for the wrong reason, you understand? Now, he is claiming that him have a new song I followed out with Bounty Killer. Can't believe it, people. Me I hope I lie, I tell, because me not feel like Bounty are going to do no song with him, you understand? Also, I'm going to talk about Vibes Cartel announcing that he has a new EP titled The Appellant coming out soon, and also Jada Kingdom revealed that she actually had a miscarriage, you understand, people? So, you know, since what the Jada Kingdom I got through a little situation and things, so I'm going to talk about that, and I'm going to show you some video footage and stuff, you understand, people? But before I go further into the topics, make sure you like this video, make sure you subscribe if you don't subscribe, and click the notification bell put it on all that way you can get notified when my post a new video all right people so first thing we're going to talk about is some breaking news as it relates to the emerging dancehall artist who is among six persons who got arrested in florida is it so this is what the story I say. Emerging dancehall artist Jay Blem among six arrested in Florida in connection with a homicide case. Prison marketing consultant understand that emerging dancehall artist Jay Blem, Jaheem Cox, was among a group of men arrested by the U.S. law enforcement during an operation in Florida. The Jamaican teenage athlete turned artist and the son of dancehall veteran Danny English was arrested along with five other men by U.S. Marshals with the assistance of BSCO and the SWAT relating to a homicide case. The Bay County Sheriff's Department and the U.S. Marshals Task Force located and arrested the six men in connection with a wanted fugitive homicide case from Brooklyn, New York. The U.S. Marshals Service reportedly requested assistance on November the 19th identified a fugitive named Anelka Green. In October, Green allegedly got into an argument at a Brooklyn restaurant, left and returned shortly to, you know, let off some corn inside. According to reports from New York law enforcement, allegedly one of the corn catch an innocent bystander who later succumbed to their injuries. Law enforcement says Green then fled New York from far Panama City Beach. Later in the week, investigators confirmed Green was staying at a local condominium and obtained a search warrant for Green and his associates. Members of the task force assisted by BSCO SWAT contacted Green, who allegedly provided bogus names during his interview. With When the search was completed, six men inside Green condominium were arrested after officials allegedly found several hundred grams of weed, MDMA pills, and more than $23,000 in cash. Deputies said the men were from Jamaica and came to Panama City Beach with Green after he committed the act. Jaheem Cox, 19, Shamar Wedderburn, 22, Renato Campbell, 22, Shemari Livingston, 22, and Kevar Taylor, 19, were all arrested and charged with possession with intent to distribute weed, possession of MDMA, and also a paraphernalia. Anikal Green was charged with fugitive from justice for the charges of robbery and homicide and is now facing and is now also charged with giving false names to LEO, possession of weed with intent to distribute, possession of MDA and also paraphernalia. Green is also out and bond from New York for a strap charge for from September. Yes, it more people. So the person name Anikal Green, you see me, I think I actually pronounce him name wrong at the first time I call it, you see it, so I just want, you know, kind of clear that up. But, yeah, people, of course, you know, say, J. Blem, which you don't know are the, are the son of Danny English, which is a emoly for people at talk about. You understand what I mean? Because the youth left out of being an athlete, a good athlete, 
you know, if you say I'm going to pursue music and you don't know people that say, boy, how I end up where I end up right about now, you understand, but we we'll have to wait and see what going on. You understand, my people? So, me keep, me keep on updated whenever some form of update come out as it relates to this case, is it? Anyway, people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So, now we're going to talk about your girl, Shensia, and a post that she made on her Instagram page. You see, my people? And as I say, this post, it kind of seemed like she respond to London on the track, baby mother. And, of course, I know say London on the track, baby mother, come out recently and said some stuff as it relates to Shensia and her son and you don't know what of people feel like said so that was definitely a violation and thing is him and we know how Shensia get down when it comes to Rajiro. love him like wow you understand I remember you know our one and only you that so you don't know the thing go very overprotective when it comes to Raj and thing now today Raj is celebrating his seventh birthday so it's definitely a good look Shensia is feeling like a proud mother so I get to the post where she make is him a people she actually posted up a couple of photos with her and Raj and in the caption, which is where she kind of make a post, and it sounds like she's going to respond to London baby mother at a later date. But anyway, this is it say. Happy 7th birthday to my young king, my favorite person in the world, a forever friend, my peace. I enjoy working my ass off for you because you make me so proud. I never knew what it meant to love till I was blessed with you. A kid like you made me want to have five more and nothing gonna slide as long as I'm alive. When it comes to you, boy, I love you so much and I'm happy that you never doubt me because you believe it, you're my lifeline. So the part where she say, ain't nothing gonna slide as long as she's alive. Shensia make it be known, say, not now gonna slide as it relates to Raj. You understand what I mean, some people? And I think she's sending a clear signal that she will address London baby mother at a later date. You see me? You have some people, you know, them not really drink the soup or the tea, however you want to put it, when it's hot. Them wait till it cool down and then them come speak for them part and put, who forget putting on them place. You understand, people? So, you don't know that I wish I see a say, but separately from that, I just want to wish Raj a happy birthday, happy seventh birthday, youth. And you don't know, just go and enjoy your youthful days. You understand me and some more people. So let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So now we're going to talk about the professional clown. As I see, he's being referred to on social media. And he's actually a clown for real, you know, people. Like a person who put on makeup and them things, you see? And the face where you see are the man who actually tell the people them for come out of the car. You remember that video that got viral on social media recently? Well, it seemed like this brother here get famous from that little act there, which to me still, that ain't really nothing for really laugh about because the way how him style the woman them, it, 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 it no nice. You understand what I'm saying? I'm seeing forward out on um, the Jamaica Star page and him gear seemingly I don't know, I don't like the apology. You understand people, I don't like the way Oima do it. You know, it's like he might give a half apology then, which to me, you, you know, you style the people, them who got them job, and I tell them about come out of the car and them thing here, and they forward on the internet, and you know, I go on like, you know, and give them a proper apology. But, you know, him, him go viral, people. You understand what I mean? So, you know, sometimes you go viral for the wrong reasons, and we say zip interview him, we say the star interview him like me say and he's being you know talk about on social media the man even a trend on twitter <laughs> anyway so fast forward now me see him have a new slang now name hey boy come out of this car remember that him they tell the people you know come out of the car you know see me know that i want slang me not really pick up still but separately from that me and my same have a new song I followed out with Bunty and Joshi. Yes, my people. And I feel like I just talk him and talk. I don't feel so Bunty I do no song with him. You understand? So, I'm going to play the video clip so you can hear what I say. And you can tell me if you believe that I have a new song I followed out. You understand? So, check out that clip here. And famous. Oh, I'm here. Dark, you're dark and outside. I want to some more. Ah, hey, boy. Come out of that. Give me a piece of it. Hey, boy. Come out of that. I you know, mean, you know now? now, right now, fully dark, ever clean. One thing with any of my bad friend. Hey, come out of that. I want you now. You know thing yeah, with bone tick my dog, I say now. Josh, yeah. I want you, bud. Hey, boy, come out of that. I want you now. In my peace, my dear, my bad friend. Hey, boy, yeah. come out of yeah. that. No. Now. I want you know, you know, now. I want you. Fully dark. 
I want to be a dark up, body a bad, my friend. Alright, is it so? I don't know people. As I say, I watch for see what I go on. When time, you know, people are boosting you up and are hype you up, you're going to talk anything, you know. You understand? But I'm 99% sure. I'm not going to say 100 Say him not have no song with Bounty to come out. He might have a song by himself because people, when normally go viral on social media, they always end up come out with songs or, or something. You understand? We see various of them do it. From Cliff Twang, Candy Wow, Mackerel, does every single body. Once them go viral, they always try to turn an artist. That's just how it goes. And then we not hear about them for a long time. You see me? And as I say, some people go viral for good reasons. And some people go viral for bad reasons. And may I be honest, fame reason is a bad one because yet these the people them and pull them out of the taxi because they do all protesting thing, which are foolishness. Who want work taxi make them work? Who want protest steer your yard? You understand? Me all see them fling all stone in the arm in a one JUTC bus and hurt somebody and them thing. You see me? So it is really sad. So all of them thing here happen right about now. But anyway, people, me no longer half track. Make me know if you believe say I'm a song of foul out. <laughs> Oh boy, let me know if you feel like him really have a song of fouled out with Bunty and Joshy or whatever I'm saying. See my people, leave it in the comment section. So now we're going to talk about your girl Jada Kingdom who recently revealed that she actually had a miscarriage and thing. And basically she posted up, uh, over upon her TikTok she made them post it. It's like she compiled some videos and it's like in a one of the videos them, it have two pregnancy tests which showed positive. You understand what I said that she was actually pregnant and thing. But it seemed like, you know, she had a miscarriage and stuff like that. And Jada Kingdom been through a lot, you know, people. What do you mean she forward upon the internet over upon TikTok and you know, she have to deal with depression plus a whole bunch of things. So sometimes when Missy she come out and you know she go on certain ways, you know, me understand say it's not really easy for her to deal with certain things. Plus, you know, she she admits that she bipolar and them thing here. And it's not everybody know how to deal with people with stay so but let me show you the clip which she shares in and only can see what me are talking about. So check this out. So, I that I go on in my people. You understand what I mean? Um, even though me did kind of pick up say maybe she did lose her baby because she did actually make a post over upon her Instagram status some time ago. And it seemed like I did the youth who she either did there with or who she did with now, Nas EBK, the rapper youth, because I think they might get back together. You understand? But you don't know, me see him put up something where it's like him, I wonder how him baby would have did look and all of that. And she put up the same thing. So, yeah, sorry for hearing that still, Jada. You don't know. Um, rough, you understand what I mean? I say. Me know miscarriage. You know, me is a man, but me know say that's like one of, that, that hurt when a female have to go through something like that, you see me? Anyway, people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So now we're going to talk about dancehall artist Vibes Cartel. We're scheduled to release another EP in December. So let me get into this story right away, is it? So it's a Vibes Cartel to release another EP in December. The appellant, incarcerated dancehall artist Vibes Cartel, says he'll release another EP next month as the first part of an Exile Fearer series. He made the announcement in an Instagram post yesterday alongside a new photo of himself and revealed that the first installment will be titled The Appellant. Cartel targeted his lawyer, Isat Buchanan, and producers TJ Records and I cop on the beat in the post. The appellant EP will follow the Anyweather DJ True Religion EP, which was released on September the 30th. However, that project did not enter the Billboard Reggae Albums chart, moving just 310 units in sales and streaming in the United States during its, during its first week of release. True Religion was said to be dedicated to Cartel's new fiancé, Sidem Osterk, and had featured seven tracks including songs interracial, like Royal, 
royalty on the title track True Religion. His 2021 project title Born for This had spent one week on the Billboard Reggae album chart at number nine after selling 1,290 total units of consumption from sales and streaming in the United States from its first week of release in August of this year. Of that year, my bad. Seven of the World Boss previous albums have entered the reggae album chart. They are Dance and Divas 2020, which peaked at number six. King of the Dancehall 2016, which peaked at number two. Viking Vibes Cartel is King 2015, which peaked at number three. Reggae Love Songs and Other Things 2014, which peaked at number seven. Vibes Cartel Roots and Culture 2013, which peaked at number six. Cartel Forever Trilogy 2013, which peaked at number 11. And Kingston Story 2011, which peaked at number seven. Seven. The new EP title is a nod to cartel final appeal before the UK Privy Council. His attorney is at Buchanan and is optimistic that the court may rule in favour of his client when the case is heard. I am very happy and optimistic about being before the Privy Council. It is the final court and justice is for all. He had told Fox 5 New York Lisa Ivers, cartel who has been in custody since September 29, 2011 and his co-accused Sean Storm, Kyra Jones and Andre St. John's we're all sentenced to not free out that part. I don't know all of that already. So, yeah, my people, you can look out for Vibes Cartel EP, the appellant, in a December. So, you don't know the Gaza fans, them, when you can go out, they go support him and just, you know, purchase it and thing and thing. You understand? So, add that to that. You understand what I'm saying, my people? So, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. And thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bless upon yourself until I drop the next video. I'm out.